I'm starting this vlog the day that I finished my previous vlog. I don't know why, but I'm doing that um, and have fun. So yeah, welcome or welcome back to our channel. The channel is run by two sisters. I am going to be your host, Star, a 20-year-old self-taught artist. And welcome to a new vlog of mine. I hope you guys enjoy it and I will talk to you guys later. How are we doing? It is 7.32 p.m. And after two hours on Pinterest, um, I'm finally ready to draw something for the day, which is which sucks because it's so late at night. Um, but I, I recently wanted to kind of create something of like an everyday brush or everything brush i think that's what i uh, actually what's called um yeah i wanted to create like an everything brush where on the days where i don't want to like go through the three different brushes that i do have um i can create a brush set or i can create a brush actually um that i can essentially use for everything um so i created a brush and i'm just going to i needed something to draw to kind of test it out tweaked on my brush a little bit more and i think for the most part it's a little bit it's still a little bit different than my typical brush that i use to like render and overpaint and all that stuff with but i think i got it better so this one was the previous one and I, like i said as opposed to like doing some line work i don't think it's horrible after tweaking the brush and redoing the process besides the lips this is what i I'm landing on. It's a little close to what I typically have for my old brush. Um, and yeah, I don't know. It gives that more, it gives that feel a little bit more. So I have been meaning to paint for like a month now and I haven't gotten around to doing it. It's a little bit gloomy and it's very cold today. And though I'm still working on the piece that I started last night with like testing my brushes and stuff, I, I'm like, you know what, F it, I'm going to put that on hold a little bit, and because I'm in the mood, I should paint now while I have, the, like, the chance, and so I'm going to paint. So I, <laughs> I stole my sister, Jen, my twin sister who shares this channel with me, I stole her spray bottle here. I mean, she's sleeping, but <laughs> I'm going to quickly spray my paint and my palette down, mix things up, let it sit. I'm going to eat while everything is kind of, like, sitting, and then we shall... We should get to painting. Hi guys, welcome. I know I introduced the vlog, I believe already, but um, um regardless, welcome. Um, yeah, so I want to get into the topic of balance and i think that i kind of show that pretty well of just balance balancing a lot of different things within this last month of you know school for me um one i want to say that i finished my sophomore year of college i still have like two research reports to do um or like to submit and i still have to take finals for my language class but besides that, like, I'm completely done, like, actively going or physically going to classes that ended on Monday, today's Wednesday. It was an amazing day at the, at, at the end of our last class. My sister and I went thrifting. I picked up some books. It was great. 
so I, I I had a I had a blast. But now it's like crunch time from like today to Saturday to like complete the last couple of things before I'm like totally free for the summer. Anyways, let's go back to the topic of balance. Um and while I talk about that, you'll see um, me working in my sketchbook. I wanted to paint something and I had these like desktop not desktop, uh tabletop table decorations, I'm not really sure. Um, and I had a bunch of them, and so I just picked a couple of them, took pictures of them, and then, you know, referenced them, like, in person, and then off my iPad, um, for, like, lighting and stuff, but it's, it's whatever. Um, so yeah, on the topic of balance, I feel like, um, personally, I, okay, wait, I'll start over. Um, I don't really know how to describe myself as an artist. In the past, I used to say that I was an amateur artist, I used to say that I was, like, a, a hobbyist artist I used to say teen artist and um, before I, I completely turned 20 uh, and right now I don't really know what to call myself um, I have made money off my art during that one commission that I did um, and through my job I do do art most of the time and so through that I, I make money off my art but I wouldn't consider myself like a professional I wouldn't consider myself like a financially stable artist and artist isn't like do, doing art isn't like the main thing that I do in my world um or not my world in my life so I don't know what type of artist to describe myself as but I do feel like in the last couple of years um art has taken over I even though I said like it's not the only it's not it's not like the main thing that I do in my life it has taken over my life completely and I think for the beginning part of it it was because I was using art as like art therapy and to kind of help me out here um like doing my struggles back in 2019 2020 and then now it just kind of grew to something that I love to do uh, and I kind of re fell in love with doing art again um from when I was a child um and yeah, and I just, and I think for the beginning part of it, it was like art therapy and healing, reflection, et cetera, et cetera. And then it turned into like being obsessive back in like 2021 20, ish, near the end of 2020, with like social media numbers and things like that. And I made a video back um, on this channel a while ago about why I kind of um, stopped stop that mentality of doing art for social media and why I continue to do art regardless of the numbers anymore um or like the very few numbers in terms of like wherever I'm posting on social media and then after that it just kind of turned into like I would prioritize art over everything else not school but everything else in my life and yeah I just because of that I wanted to focus this last couple of months or the last couple of weeks within this last month I wanted to focus on doing art um and then balancing it with other aspects of my life so I I, I picked up doing script writing again and I'm working back and forth on two different videos a young justice video retrospective video and then a barbie like feminism um perception type video like um video essay um type stuff and then i picked up re continuing my writing for my script for my web comic that i am itching to get started on um what else did i do i journaled again i later on you'll see but i want to bring like start picking up these like habits so sketchbook sketchbook habits journaling habits the first day of may up until now been going being consistent with going to the gym um you know hair care skin care um health care whatever the case is and i feel like the time that i have spent doing art and the time that i would have allotted myself to do art I'm trying to use those time in other ways. And if if it works out, like if I can spend that time reading instead, that I, like I'm going for it. If I can spend that time working on YouTube scripts for our second channel, our commentary channel, that I want to go for it. Um, if I can spend that time going to the gym instead, I'm definitely going for it. And I think that 
I had to kind of like reteach myself to like separate and and like um, prioritize other aspects of my life. It doesn't mean that I, I just stopped doing art completely because once I stopped doing art completely, I end up having art block and lack of motivation. Um, but I just don't take like six to eight hours of my day and only do art and then do school. Like if I have all that time to do art, I can put that time into something else and just divide it a lot more. And it lets me have like, lets me do all these other interests that I love doing again. And like it, it, it brings back that fun. And since I spend a lot lesser time doing art, once I do art again, I kind of, you know, miss it and we fall in love with wanting to like get back into it. But if I'm doing art eight to 10 hours a day, I end up getting either bored eventually, unmotivated, and it's only like art school, art school, art school. And it's like, I got to break it up a little bit. But yeah, that was my, 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 my thoughts on balance. Careful. I'm at the gym, or I'm making my way up there. How fun! Got my water. It's gonna be a good time. I am pre ordering tickets. For the Little Mermaid, I am so excited. I'm gonna go with my sisters. We're gonna have a fun time. It's gonna be amazing. I cannot wait. I finished my class, got chips. Now I'm leaving school and heading to the gym. How fun! How fun! But only one of the layers. Sort of a savory cake made of cornmeal. Well, I understand why it sounds so appealing. <laughs> <laughs> the important thing, though, is that we're both in the beans. I think that's, I really wanted to, like, reach a hand across.
good morning guys it is 8 44 a.m may 10th it's the next day and i am finally getting around to doing my bullet journal spread so as for my supplies i have just two lead pencils here i have a pencil case here that is filled with my one of my marker brands that i own which is this brand here. It's pretty good. I used it for my last month's spread and quite liked it. I have my micro pens. I don't usually use micro pens in my bullet journal, but I did for the first time last month and I liked how it looks, so maybe I'll use them. And then I have my pencil case here that is filled with miscellaneous stuff, but mainly my go to um crayola super tip markers i like to reach for the most so i originally filmed this vertically um uh, because i wanted to make a tiktok out of it because i did one for my last month spread i made tiktok youtube shorts reels whatever and it did fairly well and i was surprised i mean i i'm not that surprised because short form content like tiktok sh sh youtube shorts and reels generally do um more well than like any other content that i post on any of my social medias um accounts but i was just surprised in terms of like it being a bullet journal video specifically um so i wanted to do it again but i ended up not posting it because one i wasn't really sure i liked the spread in person but i just wasn't really sure how if i liked how it was recorded and how it looked on camera and then two, after a couple of days, so I already filmed this, started to film this late. After a couple of days, I just completely forgot that I had to edit the video. And so I was like, okay, I give up. I'm not doing it anymore. But yeah, I don't know. I'm doing my spread here. Um, and yeah, I quite liked it overall. I wanted to, um, when, when doing the spread, I wanted to ensure that I'm adding as much detail as possible i don't think detail is the word i wanted to add as much um like um doodles as possible usually i always like stick to maybe one to two little doodles of whatever theme i'm doing um and that's it and this time around since it was oranges i was like i can get away get away with drawing a bunch of like a lot of circles everywhere and like call it a day and so i wanted to do that because i wanted to like kind of like liven up um the spread a little bit and anyways i think this even though it's like pretty simple um i i think that I, i'm having a good track track record with my last couple of spreads and themes and color choices that i picked so that was great um yeah uh how are you guys doing um i don't really know what else, what else to say here i talked about you know how i'm balancing earlier how i'm balancing um you know doing art and 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 being being a student in college and just kind of ensuring that i'm not you know restraining myself from doing other things that i like to do or doing things that i could possibly and potentially do and you know i said that like i'm cutting back um on the time that i spend doing art um yeah i think now now cuz school is finished I can go back to doing like four to eight hours a day of drawing because I still have more time in the day to do everything else because I don't have to worry about school for the next three months. Uh, but like as a student, while I am in school, I need to ensure that I'm not just only doing two things, school stuff and then art stuff and then nothing else. Um so yeah, that's that's my that's my um thoughts on just balance and and how I do that as a twenty year old who just finished her sophomore year in college. Um, yeah, I I quite like I quite like this vlog that I've done. I'm I'm jumbling my words it's so early in the morning. Not that early. It's like nine forty eight <laughs> that I'm re recording this audio. Um, but yeah. Um, what else I wanted to say? Um. Yeah, my webcomic. I really want to do it, and I'm serious about doing it this time. Last night, I don't know if I'm going to show this in this vlog, but last night, um, the night of May 16th, I'm trying to do a final illustration. I, I, I've I been wanting to do this like character design video with the characters of my webcomic, but I've been pushing it off 
because I want to do some sort of final illustration because I just don't want them to just be like just the character design aspect of it so I'm slowly working on that I'm I'm going to continue my script again because I'm six chap six chapters in and I could just like start but I do want to get a vibe of what like the first arc is going to be of my story like the first whatever like I don't want to just like jump in and then have to redo stuff because some things don't make any sense I want to get all the writing done um with that first but yeah and besides that like i said I'm, I'm pushing through with my two different video essay youtube video scripts it's it's a lot but i'm pushing through that um and i think that's it so i will turn it back over to real time star Me and the sister finished the gym. Have fun! Yay! Hi guys, so it's 5.32. Um, I just woke up from an hour and a half nap. I went to the gym and the gym completely wiped me out. So yeah, I fell asleep. I woke up. I'm going to eat a little bit later. But I am kind of ready to, to do some art making. Uh, I left my desk here completely a mess. We're not, it's just a bunch of markers and stuff and art supplies laying around that I will I will clean up. And Sakura Co. They are snack boxes that allow you to experience Japan from the comfort of your own goods. Uh, this is actually April's box, which information on each of the snacks, which also includes allergy information and if the snack is vegetarian. <laughs> No, it's the damn glue. Oh, you have gems. Yes. You just noticed? No, I noticed it before, but I never commented on them. Okay. That's a shame. Because I didn't comment on them. Oh, these are so tiny. How do you plant these? You usually make a spot. You mean multiple? Just put multiple. Yeah, I think we're just going to put a whole thing in there. Okay, I'm going to start putting my seeds inside. Okay. Damn. <laughs> okay. I just like put it down and like twirl it. Oh, okay, yeah. Good technique. Just putting it a little bit in different spots. I'm gonna use the big popsicle stick to help. With and me. then I'm gonna fold it over. And okay, rinse and repeat. I don't even know if that's enough or too little or too much. So or grow little ones will take really good care of you. I'm not a heathen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about to use my hands. Okay, do you want me to go then? 
Jen's placing them on the windowsill, and then she's gonna do this big boy by herself. So, see you later. Yacht! Yacht! Adios. Bye. We have our soil here. Going to just smooth everything out, break some of the soil if I can. Okay. And we have two bean seeds, and then we have onion seeds. Might not be using all of them. And considering that these are vegetables, I am a little weary about planting them. Because, you know, I'm thinking about, like, space. This is not entirely that big. Um, we do have bigger um, pots, but the bigger ones that we have won't fit in our window window seal unless it's in the kitchen but the kitchen window seal is being occupied so the bedroom window seals are not big enough so that's why we got this thin one but like it's wide so these are the beans So it is 8.41 p.m. about in like four minutes it'll be two hours later. I am officially done with the sketching process. So okay now references. What was I doing? Oh canvas information. Um two hours and forty-three minutes in total. And I quite I quite enjoyed this piece and I'm kinda happy to, to render it. And I mean I made a background, which is so exciting. Um, I'll show you the two pieces I use as reference for my background. Let's go to references. So my first one was this, so I can get this window um, stuff in there. And then I have this one right here, um, which is like this kind of kitchen background and the cabinet situation. So you can kind of see that bottom part and then the vase I quite liked. And I thought that having that as like the window background be co would be cool. And I kind of just fill in the tiles myself because I thought like something needed to be in the background. I put this here, maybe painting question mark, which I think I might, I just put a bunch of swirls and stuff. Or maybe I'll put one of my own pieces in <laughs> as a painting, but I don't know. I quite, I'm, I don't know what the color scheme is going to be. I might just reference off the two references I have or I might just do something myself. Um, but regardless, I quite like this and yeah. I'm going to put a stop here. It's 8.46 p.m. Um, and I have to know when to stop doing art and go about doing, you know, some of my other stuff that I need to do in my life.
Hi guys um it is may 17th on wednesday and i kind of want to show you my book haul from monday when my when my sister and i went thrifting after our last day of classes which is amazing it's just amazing to finally be done i mean only with my second year of college but still so the first book that i have here is called the book thief um i think this one's going to take place during the holocaust a young girl um is intrigued by books starts reading them stealing them and sharing them and this would be my third holocaust like story that i read i've i've seen, i read the diary of anne frank i read night which was incredible and heartbreaking and now this one seems to be like uh another a third one um the second book that i picked up at my first thrift, thrift store was the first day of spring this one i'm very <laughs> confused about um, but it's like a good confused like I'm 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 beaming with anticipation to read this one. Um, this girl when she was eight killed someone. She seems to not be upset about it. Um, but later on, twenty years later, she kind of wants to put that past behind her. So I kind of want to see how, like what was leading up to to the point that she killed this boy, and what led up to the point of like why she wanted to like change her her past and stuff like that. The third one's called Too Good to Be True this one um deals with like i think three people in a relationship or two people in a relationship with, with this other guy um but three people in total and yeah my last book which is called behind closed doors now this one is gonna give me like anxiety intense because this is like i love stories where it's like picture perfect on the outside but like not really on the inside and i feel just by reading this blurb, I feel very scared for this girl um, who's in this relationship with this guy because it might be more than, like, it seems. At the second bookstore, I picked up first this graphic novel. Um, Jen picked this up first, and then she ended up putting it away, and I quickly snatched it up after. Um, I'm going to be able to use this for research purposes, references, and just enjoyability as someone who's trying to work on a webcomic. Uh, I don't know if I want my webcomic to be more mobile convenience, like Webtoon or Tapas, or be more like a comic book style. And I'm not sure if I'm posting, like how I'm posting it, how I'm paneling it. But, you know, I can go on Webtoon and get references from there and like, you know, see how other people do their panels and then have these physical graphic novels. I have, I've been like buying a bunch of like physical graphic novels. Um, for help as well the next set of books that i got at the second thrift store were was the percy jackson series so they had the first one as well but i already let me see i already own the first book of um the percy jackson series and so i thought it was fate um that i picked up these three so i'm very excited to read that huge rick reardon fan and then i also picked up the first two books of the heroes of olympus um, besides the Magnus Chase series, I wasn't really uh, familiar with the other Rick Reardon, um, like, collection of books. So, yeah, I'm excited to pick this one up. And then also, hopefully in the future, even though, like, I'm done buying books, I, I do hope in the future, um, I'm able to find, um, physically the 
um other books of the magnus chase series so i can collect those as well um but besides that yeah these are the books that i i bought and i'm gonna heed jen's warning and i'm gonna stop buying books for a while because these were 10 books and i really don't have anywhere to put them so yeah this has been my book haul and before i go i want to show you one of our plants that has started to sprout i think this was the i don't know if it was morning glory or morning glow i think in the video through text i've been saying morning glory but it could also have been morning glow i actually cannot remember i threw the packaging out i think because i can't find it but yeah this is sprouted wonderfully I started working on my character designs for my webcomic in February. Last month, I finally finished the character designs. So these are three of the characters that I have here. And then I have the other two characters here. And these are the first three. And now I'm working on trying to do an illustration with all of them together. And then I can finally make this like character design video. Oh, I do have to tweak her colors and I might tweak her colors in the like final illustration where they're when they're all together. I will say that I do struggle with trying to draw the same character over and over again. So I just kind of want to build the habit because if I'm obviously doing a webcomic, I need to be a little bit better. I think with Adana, I have her face down. Zeros, I have his face down. Chancellor, I have his face down as well. Um, Atrio isn't like facing forward, so his is kind of like I'm not entirely sure. And then Lillianne, um, she doesn't look like she doesn't look like how I first drew her. Um, but I'm hoping that even if the characters slightly change a little bit over time, um, I'm able to like find a way to eventually kind of keep them consistent um so for now i'm gonna just leave it the way it is because i was messing around messing around with it for so long so i'm just i don't even want to touch it anymore but yeah anyways um i got everyone down it was a struggle but i'm gonna start working on the costuming and putting all the characters there i started these phone paper phone wallpaper designs February 20th and I finally finished um today I finally had time to just kind of sit down relax and do them um and I'm quite proud of how how this one how this came out so I can't wait to post it over on Etsy and this is the second one that I started today and I'm slowly working on and I'm going to post this one over on Etsy as well when I eventually finish this um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this is the end of the vlog it's quite a long one i believe unless i trim it down some more at currently the video is around 40 minutes um but maybe i'll edit it down just a little bit but yeah thank you guys so much for watching it definitely means a lot i did a lot of art in this video so i hope you guys like the variety um but yeah <laughs> have an amazing day jen and i see you in another video yeah, peace. Bye, guys.